Well, good morning. It's our Wednesday devotion. Great to connect with you once again. Thanks for all the good feedback we've received about our Wednesday devotion, our Zoom church, our sermons that are up online for you to watch and engage with. So thanks. Our Wednesday devotions will continue for a little while yet. Ladies, Coffee Morning is back. 7th of July, 9.30, up at church. Bring your own morning tea and coffee. Bring your craft and have a great time together. I know our ladies are looking forward to meeting again for our monthly coffee mornings. So invite your friends, ladies. So today, let's consider this verse from John chapter 12, verse 24. Unless a grain of wheat falls and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. We try to do so much of what we want to do for God by ourselves. Our motives are right. Our heart's right. Our plans are often made with prayer. The problem is that we sometimes end up doing everything except that critical thing. We must die to self. Our identity gets involved in pulling off our plans. Our hopes, our feelings about Christian service get tangled up in the success of what we're trying to do. Jesus reminds us that there is no harvest without death to self. The seed has to be planted and die before it can germinate and grow. Jesus submitted everything, including his fears and his friends, to the will of God. It cost him his life. What do you need to do? What do you need to surrender to God? Jesus announced this truth, recognizing that God was calling him to lay down his life. For sacrifice is never easy. Despite his disciples' lack of courage and faithfulness during his last hours, Jesus truly believed his sacrifice would bring out the best in them and then lead them to share in his grace and glory and see many others come to faith. The very fact that we are serving, that we are following Jesus today is proof that he was correct. Jesus' road to the cross was hard. He faced many obstacles, detours, deprivation, dangers, death and sacrifice looms. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew chapter 10, 39. Sometimes you and I may go to the doctor and he might have bad news. They may tell you there's a serious problem and that you might need surgery or some special treatment. You might not like what you hear, but the course of action will address your condition. God tells us the truth about ourselves. We are sinners and we need a saviour. Once we accept that, we can go from sadness to happiness. We discover that the way to find life 
is by committing our lives to God. That's what Jesus meant when he said, He who finds his life will lose it. And he who loses his life for my sake will find it in Matthew 10, 39. We win by losing. The way up is down. The way to happiness is sadness. Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted in Matthew 5, verse 4. Blessed are those who mourn. They will be comforted. The word blessed here could be translated as happy. Jesus was effectively saying, happy are the unhappy. Or another way to put it, happy are the unhappy because one day they will be happy. We must see ourselves for who we are. We have our dreams and aspirations. We have our plans. We have things we want to do, and that's all good. But here's my advice. Commit your life to God. And understand that his plan for you is much better than the plan you have for yourself. He may say no to some things. He may stop. Say stop. Or he may say change or refocus. But what God will say is yes. Yes, when his timing is right and his plan is perfect. Yes, walk in that way. And as the years pass, you will look back on your life and give thanks to him. Unless a grain of wheat falls. God bless you. Bye for now.